Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about problems involving a circle and uh, definitions of a circle. All right, just two problems to look at. Well, let's take a look at the first one. All right, so we're going to talk conceptually about what's going on, then I'll show you the proof itself. Actually, I believe there are three problems. Uh, so I have given circle P, so I have circle P, WX is congruent. So WX is congruent to YZ. We're going to prove that WQ is congruent to ZR. So WQ uh, is congruent to ZR. All right, so what we want to do first is we're going to draw a line from P to the chord XY. We know that it's going to be the perpendicular bisector of XY. We'll call this, for now, G. I might change that letter. Um, you can see that we have two uh, uh, triangles that are congruent by side, angle, side. So given that that is the case, um, I know that uh, WG is congruent to GZ. Um, I also know that WP is congruent to PZ uh, by CPCTC. So I have WX uh, congruent to uh, YZ, I know that the perpendicular bisector of XY is a segment of GP, so WX plus XG is going to be equal to GY plus YZ. Um, I have the right angle, I have the side GP by the reflexive property, then by CPCTC I can say that WP is congruent to PZ, and then by subtraction, because already I have a circle are congruent, QP, PR are congruent, Therefore, subtracting congruent segments from congruent segments, I see that WQ is congruent to RZ. So I'm going to post up the proof for you. You can take a look at it and then pause to write down the uh, components of the proof. Okay, moving on to the next problem. Um, I need to find the radius of circle in which uh, a 48 centimeter cord, 48 centimeter cord is DE, is 8 centimeters closer to the center than a 40 centimeter cord. FG. So I'm going to label uh, CB, the distance CB is 8, BA is X. I know that FG is going to be 8 centimeters further away than uh, DE. So I end up with uh, two sets of right triangles. The first one is going to be uh, GCA, so GCA. And here I have <clears throat> my first uh, Pythagorean theorem, x plus 8 squared plus 20 squared is equal to, and we're going to say y is the radius. So y here, a, e, a, g, y squared. And then my second uh, right triangle is going to be, and let's do this in blue, is going to be uh, E, B, A. And here I have <clears throat> X squared plus 24 squared is equal to Y squared. Well, since X plus 8 squared plus 20 squared is equal to Y squared, and X squared plus 24 is equal to Y squared, I can say that X, plus 24, X squared plus 24 squared is equal to X plus 8 squared plus 20 squared. And now all I have to do is solve for x. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the values. And again, you can copy these down if you want. So I say x plus 8 uh, squared plus 20 squared is equal to x squared plus 24 squared. Uh, 64 plus 16x plus x squared plus 400 as I foil 8 plus 8x squared is equal to x squared plus 576. Uh, I see that 464 plus 16x is equal to 576. 16x is equal to not 102, but 112, so let me just change that. So this is equal to 112. And finally, x is equal to 7. Given that x is equal to 7, I see that I have <clears throat> a 724-25 triangle in this smaller triangle here. x is 7. One of my legs is 24, so my radius or my hypotenuse is going to be 
uh, 25. So find the radius of a circle in which a 48 centimeter cord is 8 centimeters closer to the center than a 40 centimeter cord. And I said that real quickly. My radius ends up being 25. Okay, last problem. All right, an isosceles triangle with each leg measuring 13 is inscribed in a circle of the altitude to the base of the triangle is five, so we'll say this is A, B, and C. Find the radius of the circle. So we're gonna say circle O, and we're gonna say this is P, um, and I'm gonna say P to O is gonna be X. Well, I know that uh, I have got a five, 12, 13 triangle uh, based on my Pythagorean triple, so I know PA and PC are both going to be 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a segment from O to A and then from O to C. And I know that this distance is going to be X plus 5, right? O to B, O to A, O to C, they're all the same distance. O to B is my radius, so I know that O to C is going to be X plus 5. Now I have uh, a couple, actually I have just one equation, and I can solve for X. I have x squared plus 12 squared is equal to x plus 5 squared. So x squared, so here's my triangle in question. I have x squared plus 12 squared. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day, Homestead student. Okay, x squared, sorry about that, x squared plus 12 squared is equal to x plus 5 squared, that gives me x squared plus 144 is equal to x squared plus 10x plus 25. Uh, I subtract x squared from both sides, that leaves me with 0x squared. I subtract 25 from both sides, that leaves me with 119 is equal to 10x. So x is equal to 11.9. And then my radius is going to be x plus 5 so uh, 11.9 plus 5 gives me 16.9 units as my radius for the circle. All right, that's it for Rotten Math. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, come back and see us some more information we have in uh, section 10.2. And that is going to be on congruent chords. All right, talk to you soon.